My walk with Christ wasn't quite my own just because I was, you know, with my parents so much and I was kind of living in their shadow. The thought was in my head that it wasn't cool to be a Christian. So I kind of made a choice to not walk with God. I did an off-Broadway show. I got guest spots in episodic television. And then I got a movie. Fame became an idol. And when it started to slow down, I was addicted to the attention. I was trying to fill this hole, this, this vacuum. There was just a lot of success coming my way. All these things that would kind of bring some sort of um, happiness just wasn't happening. We got pregnant at about 11 weeks. We did a first trimester screening and found out that our baby had kind of a thick neck, which is often a marker for Down syndrome. I was just kind of mad that it wasn't going according to my plan. Like I was just constantly striving to do something that people would recognize and to make my mark. If I got that, then that would fulfill me. What is at stake when it comes to the quest for beauty, fame, validation, and success? I see the constant frustration and anxiety that stems from unmet expectations in a culture that promises so much. We all have this deep sense of oughtness. Things ought to go this way or ought to go that way. If there is a God, we say, he didn't come through for me. He didn't follow my script. He didn't fulfill my dreams. This is not how it's supposed to go. What do we expect out of life? Where did our expectations come from in the first place? What if it was all in vain? Of course, this question has been asked before in a fascinating book buried deep in the Old Testament called Ecclesiastes. It actually helps us frame the big questions of life. It is possible that life will not turn out like you think, but you can still have hope, peace, and joy in this world. It just comes down to some big questions. Are you willing to be transformed by Jesus? Are you willing to have your script reworked?